Smile and learn. Hi, friends. You're just in time. We're going to start today's math class. Today, we're going to talk about the greatest common factor. To understand this math concept, first we need to review what multiples and factors are. Multiples are the numbers you get when you multiply a certain number by other numbers. For example, the multiples of 3 are 3, 3 times 1, 6, 3 times 2, 9, 3 times 3, and so on. Factors, on the other hand, are the numbers that divide into another number with no remainder. For example, the factors of the number 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. In math, factors and multiples are the exact opposites. Let's have a look at this with an example. 2 is a factor of 10, so 10 is a multiple of 2. Three is a factor of nine, so nine is a multiple of three. We use these math concepts all the time to solve problems. They are super important. So back to our class today. What is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor of two numbers is the biggest number that can divide exactly into both numbers. This means there is no remainder. To find the greatest common factor, we have to start by thinking about prime numbers. Do you remember what prime numbers are? Exactly! Whole numbers that can be divided by one and themselves. There are lots of ways to find the greatest common factor. One of them is the common division method. Let's do an example. We're going to find the greatest common factor of 50 and 75. We begin by writing 50 and 75 with a comma in the middle. Then we draw a line to the left of the first number and then under both. Now we have to think of the smallest prime number that divides exactly into 50 and 75. What do you think? Two? Three? Five? Looking at these numbers, I think it's the number five. Yes, perfect! We write five to the left of the two numbers and divide. Fifty divided by five is ten, and seventy-five divided by five is fifteen. We write ten under the number fifty. Fifteen under the number seventy-five and a comma in the middle. We can simplify 10 and 15 more, so we continue. What is the smallest prime number that goes into 10 and 15? I think you know this. 5! We write 5 again to the left and divide again. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. We write each result under the corresponding number. Now, 2 and 3 are prime numbers and we cannot simplify them anymore, so we stop here. It is important to remember that if we can't simplify one result anymore, we can stop even if the other one isn't prime. From here, it's super easy to find the greatest common factor. We just have to multiply 5 times 5 to get 25. So, 25 is the greatest common factor of 50 and 75. That's all for today, friends. I hope this helps you to solve math problems in the future. We'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.